Hi everyone, Sarah here. Welcome back to another video tutorial here at Mrs. Lincoln's Inkin. I am Sarah Lincoln, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And for today's video, I have the Fun Fold Corner Card um, that we're going to make today. This has been making its rounds around YouTube, um, you know, around Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. So I thought I would just share a quick tutorial with you today. This is the card that I made um, and posted on my blog yesterday. This is just another one to show you um, that I made for Father's Day. This one is just plain cardstock. This one here, I put DSP on it. And there's kind of a little trick um, to put the DSP on it. So when we get to this part in making the card, um, I'll go ahead and explain that to you because we're not using DSP today, but I'll at least show you um, you know, what you need to do if you want the DSP on there. So let's go ahead and get started. First, what you're going to need is a piece of cardstock, and this is just me measured at regular uh, size, five and a half by eight and a half. And we're going to get our paper trimmer out here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to score this right down the center at four and a quarter. Okay, now we're going to move this down to three. This left side right here needs to be lined up at three. We're going to take our cutting blade and we need to put it at five eighths. And five eighths is two dashes past the half inch mark. Okay, so we're going to cut now down to three on our arm. Okay. Now, we're going to take this out, flip it over, make sure that you flip it over, and now our five and a half side is at the top. We're gonna line it up again at three, and we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna take it from five eighths, and we're gonna go down to three. Okay, so now it should look like this. Now, really quick, let me explain to you what you would do if you had DSP on here, okay? So if you put your DSP, let's say on this side of the card, okay? Because your card's gonna go like this, okay? You would want to make sure that you start your cutting with your card stock upside down, okay? So remember, our DSP would be right here to the right side of the score line. Make sure that your DSP is on the bottom of your cardstock. So when you line it up at three, this side here has your cardstock on it, but it's underneath. So that's the trick to it. You want to make sure that when you make your cuts, your cardstock, um, or I'm sorry, your DSP is on the underneath. I hope that made sense. I'll try, I'll post a picture of it on my blog of what I'm talking about. But anyway, so back to today's card. <laughs> okay, so now we're just going to fold it over like this just right on our center score line. Now we're going to take this triangle right here and we're just gonna fold it. Just like that. Oh, nope, we're gonna go this way, I'm sorry. Just like that. Okay, so we don't use any score lines or anything like that. And since I went the other way first, it made it way easier to fold it this way. So maybe that's another little trick that I just found. Okay, and then there you go. There is your fancy corner fold card. It's pretty simple to make. So now what I like to do is just take a mini glue dot here. And I'm just going to put a mini glue dot right here in the corner. Just to help that flap stay down. Stick it down there real quick. Okay, so now let's get to decorating our card. The pieces that you're going to need for this, now you can use three if you want. I chose for this card today to only use two. So the pieces that I'm using right now is cut at two and five eighths by two and five eighths, and this is in the Wisteria Wonder, and then a piece cut at two and a half by two and a half. Now if you wanted another piece, another backing piece, like on this card I used the Early Expresso, then I used um, the Marina Mist, and then Whisper White, this Early Expresso, Early Expresso piece or your third layer would need to be two and three quarters by two and three quarters. 
but I'm only using the two today. So I'm going to take my Wisteria Wonder and my Snail here. And I'm just going to put this right here on my little flap. Okay, set this aside for a second. Got my Whisper White piece here and I'm going to get a piece of scratch paper. And I'm using the brand new um, stamp set today. It's called Birthday Blossoms. Love it. And I'm using this image right here, this flower image right here, and then my greeting is going to be the Happy Birthday um, from right there. So on my two and a half by two and a half inch piece, I'm going to take these flowers and I'm going to take some um, mint macaron or macaroon or however you say it, I'm not sure. And I'm going to ink my flowers up. I'm going to stamp off and I'm going to put these flowers right down here at the bottom. Okay, it just gives it a nice little subtle image. Okay, I'm going to do the exact same thing on the top. So stamp off and then stamp. Okay, it's just really nice and subtle and pretty. All right, now I have a piece of uh, scratch whisper white here. I'm going to take the little pansy punch that we have and I'm using the Watermelon Wonder. It's one of the new in colors. And I'm going to stamp my pansy. Perfect, I love this Watermelon Wonder color. It's one of my faves. Okay, and then we're just gonna punch this out. And this pansy punch always gives me, oh look, it knew I was gonna talk about it. So maybe it was like, I'm just gonna give her a break today. <laughs> It always gives me troubles lining it up and see that still doesn't look right. There is a trick that you can do, there we go, with your um, pansy punch. There we go. But I don't really know what it is. I'll have to figure that out. Okay, so now I'm going to bring my card base back in here. Pansy fell on the floor there. Alright, and then I'm just going to stick my Whisper White piece down. Just right here. Trying to get that Wisteria Wonder even all the way around. I'm going to take a dimensional now with my punch out. Put it right on the back and stick this up right there. Alright, so now for my greeting, I already went ahead and stamped the happy birthday on a piece of Whisper White. And I don't know what size this is. It's about three quarters by three. And I'm just going to take my um, square punch and flag the edges. Just like that. Take another couple dimensionals. Put those on the back here. And then I'm just going to put this right down here at the bottom. Perfect. Now to finish off the card, I have a piece of pink pirouette and this is cut at four by five and a quarter. And I'm just going to place this right on the inside so I can do my writing to my recipient here. There we go. Plus I think it's really important to have another card back there because it just makes this part right here stand out so much more. So just a super simple card today for the fun fold corner. Here are the other two that I did. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks so much for stopping by. Until next time, happy inking!